All right, so I got cut off in my last video because I didn't realize I was coming up with my 15 minute time limit. But I left off looking at the end behaviors of linear and quadratic equations. So let's continue with that discussion. And let's look at what happens as x approaches infinity of the linear equation, x approaches infinity of a quadratic equation, and let's look at what happens as x approaches infinity of a cubic and a quartic function. This is just y equals x to the third, and this would be y equals negative x to the third, and this is y equals x to the fourth, and then this one is y equals negative x to the fourth. If I look and I compare these end behaviors, and when I, when I say end behaviors, you can kind of look at the arrows because that's the way the graph is going. So look at the arrows. Which way is the graph going? And I'm going to compare these to the linear and the quadratics. And just so you can see, the linear was something like this. And the quadratic was something like this. Okay, so compare these two graphs, the two positive versions, to the linear and quadratics. When we compare these, the end behavior for the linear is the same as the end behavior for the cubic, or the x to the third. And the end behavior for the quadratic is the same as the end behavior for the quartic, also known as x to the fourth. We can draw these conclusions and we can see these patterns for in behavior because if I draw another, if, say I draw x to the fifth, if I draw an x to the fifth function it would be something like this. And if I drew an x to the sixth function it would look something like this. So as you can see, the pattern persists. So if I keep going, I will see that all of my odds, my 1, 3, 5, all of my odd powers act the same. And all of my even powers, like 2, 4, and 6, 2, 4, and 6, they all act the same. So out of all the possible polynomial functions, they all come back to the same four cases. So if you have a positive odd function, it'll look like the purple. This is positive odd. That's purple. If you have a negative odd, it'll look like this one. If you have a positive even, it looks like the red. And if you have a po I mean, I'm sorry, not positive. Negative even, it will look like that. So all you need to know is what happens with the graph of a linear and what happens with the graph of a quadratic function because all graphs follow these examples. So keep that in mind when you're doing your homework. Your homework is right here, 326, number 17 through 45, every other odd, 333, uh, number 17 through 33, every other odd, and then page 334, 47 through 52, all of them. Remember, if you have any questions, you can email me, you can text me. Um, anyway, you get a hold of me, I'd be more than happy to reply. Sorry I couldn't be there. Hope everybody has a great weekend.